Hey chess buddies, hope you're doing well, AlphaZero is truly a legendary chess AI with advanced functionalities, he has invented a chess opening that has never played before in chess, AlphaZero even sacrificed its queen during the middle game, and this is a friendly match, wins and losses are part of the game, so let's dive in and enjoy, Alpha started the game with e4, d6 d4 and here black can go with e5, let me show you the variation, knight f3 knight d7 called Philidor defense. Andre Philidor named this opening as his name, the pawn is under attack so knight h6 castle, best move for black is to capture the pawn, but if he plays bishop e7 then he will fall in our trap, knight e6, sacrificing the knight away, take take, black should play here bishop f6 or castle and giving up the e-pawn, but if he capture the bishop then queen h5 followed by king f8 bishop e6 knight here queen f7 and checkmate. You are stronger than you think, you have gotten through every bad day in your life, and you are undefeated. I am also undefeated, I choose the Philidor defense to play, Alpha played a very rare move rook g1, in chess.com database, this move is played by only 281 people, a new opening. Let's see how Alpha implements it, c6 g4 b5, you wanna attack in my kingside, I will attack in your queenside by pushing my Philidor army to France, g5 knight g5 bishop e3, threatening to take the pawn because the knight is unguarded, e4 and here Alpha could play knight a4, let me show you the variation, queen a5, preparing for a check, d takes e5, sacrificing the knight away, so b3 knight d2 queen takes a5, c3, threatening it takes b3 to paralyze the queen in all the way, so queen a5. Try to escape from the cabinet, take backs takes, bishop c4 is coming to attack on the pawn, knight takes e5 is as weak as a cat against a dog, d takes pawn is also bad because it's giving the entry ticket to the bishop, therefore knight b6 can't in order to safeguard the pawn because white can simply capture it, queen can't capture the bishop because of this and the pawn is just pinned by the rook, so knight c5, g6, takes takes exchanging the rooks to conquer your territory. The king is in middle of the board and he will face thousand of problems there, but in our actual game, Alpha moved back his knight, because as Alpha, he ride his horse like Alexander the Great, few moves later we have c takes b5, Alpha didn't capture the pawn, he just played d5 because black can't save his pawn at all, the pawn is poisoned by king cobra snake, Chinese people are like to eat snake tea and cockroach soup, but it's totally disgusting thing for you and me, because we are not Chinese. Taking the pawn with on Pasan isn't good because knight takes g6 will create g4 square for the buddy, the two knight brothers and the queen will do meditation to destroy your position by using mind's supernatural power called law of attraction, even he can wish for the bishop, back to the position, we have queen e2. And they have some bishop rook introduction in queen side, the pawn is under attack but you shouldn't capture it like, if a stranger man gives you chocolate you shouldn't eat it, saying I am chocolate lover, no you are a child in life and chess, queen b5, attacking to the kit cat chocolate, playing knight to b5 will force the queen to move, leaving the spot where the knight will be unprotected, so bishop p7, knight d2 knight f4 rook takes pawn, black is in a great danger. If king h8 happen then I will capture the bishop, queen takes bishop will lead bishop, takes knight so after knight takes bishop, rook a7, supported by his motivational man, takes takes rook takes b2 rook captured, white wins up an extra piece and I hope you can checkmate Magnus from this position, back to the game, I played knight takes d5 to discover attack to the queen, alpha played bishop check first, if you capture the bishop, let me show you the variation, check slides, rook a7, black, queen need run and fight for the center, so queen captured captured, rook d8 to protect it king d2 and that's it, White a huge amount of advantage like the size of a pyramidy, the knights, rooks and bishop are acting like they are avengers in chess, they are going to defeat the enemies, if f4 then something like bishop b6 will come and after some wwe fights later, white is going to take the backward pawn, rook a1 is coming and white will lose the game solely but surely. Back to the game we have king h8 and after some sequences of moves later alpha launched b26 missile to my queen, the queen is very restricted there right, so knight d3 check king d1 queen slides and here alpha 0 captured the rook, giving up his queen on a6 by the knight, here takes takes, this position is like white of omnitrix, goku power, ultimatrix and i have only my neural networks, 
and chess friends if you are enjoying my content then like and subscribe to my channel, your support give me motivation to make awesome videos for you, not for aliens or 7th dimensional humans, few moves later we have bishop e3, attacking to the queen, queen runs takes here, bishop e7, if you dare to capture the bishop then after takes, the rank will be seized by the rook, f4 bishop e6, rook a7 is coming to bombard the king side, so if you dare to stop the rook train by placing your car in front of the train, takes takes rook check, king ups rook here and you will lose the queen. Playing bishop to e7 is not advisable, you'll lose the bishop immediately. It's like dozing off in class and getting a surprise slap on your cheeks from your friend, back to the position, we have f4 and alpha played bishop c5, sacrificing the bishop, I take it, bishop takes c6 queen takes e6, rook a7 to get this file, rook b7 and knight b5 is coming so bring destructive in your position, rook a8 rook b6 queen backs takes takes takes, it's 3 versus queen and alpha is completely winning the game, he performed very well in this game, just a legendary, I hope you enjoyed. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.